So I have an ask Reddit for you, David, and that is what's a life hack that's so simple yet so effective? You're shocked. More people don't know about it. And I can I, give you some examples. Yeah, if you give want me. me some, to, I, I know I have tons, but give me some. Give me some inspiration. So first one's pretty good. It's uh, creating a routine before you exercise. So doing simple tasks around your place or whatever it is before you go to the gym or work out. That way, if you're not inspired enough, you start doing those simple things and then it sparks you to go to the gym. I think that's a good one. Okay. Um, how about always write down momentarily good ideas. Don't lean on your memory. Write shit down, period. I like I that's that. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Um, to increase your peace of mind, don't waste your time arguing with random strangers on the internet. Okay. Well, I don't do that anyway. It's more like a common sense than a yeah a life hack. Store cans of baked beans upside down so you don't have to scrape them out of the bottom when you open the can. That sounds like a pain in the ass to open the can. No, so you store them upside down, and as soon as you flip it, they drop. And when you open it, there's nothing stuck to the bottom. Okay. I'll need to see it in action. <laughs> uh, if you're making coffee in an automatic drip coffee maker, especially a cheap one, leaving a little bit of water in the in the carafe, about an ounce or so, will significantly improve the flavor. Nah, skip it. That's bad. Um, percentages are reversible. Working out 4% of 50 will give you the same result as 50% of 4. That's a good one. That's a really good one. That is a good one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's like... Okay. Actually... Because I'm reading these without reading having yeah. read them before. That's really good. Um, yeah, there's a lot of internet stuff on here. How about um, if you're driving for a long period of time, turn off uh, recirculating air. One of the reasons you get tired in the car is not from lack of sleep, but from too much CO2 in the car. Have you ever been so tired driving home and when you get home, you're no longer tired? It's because your lack of oxygen in the car, especially if you have passengers in the car. Okay. That's a good one. I would have gone with a uh, turn off circulating air because you get better gas mileage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. I okay. like that. Uh, well, do, do you have one? I, I'm still like drawing blanks. Um, a life hack that you said seems so simple, but is so effective. I don't I I like to cook a lot. Like, and I get like a lot of online recipes and there is like this little like click print link. And it cuts out all the because every time you like search for like whatever, whatever recipe and it brings up, right. it takes you to some site and that site has like those drag ads and videos in the corner yeah. and this and this. And if if you just click print link, it'll get, cut out all that bullshit and just give you the ingredients and then how to make the recipe. Hmm. OK, if that that's that's a good one. I like that. That's the only thing I could really think of. Life, as as life seems hacks. so simple. But it's so effective. Yeah, I don't know if I... I got to piggyback on that. Um, it's not even worth saying because I don't know the website. But there's a website out there that uh, you can, like, paste a link into and it removes the paywall. So like, I click that. I click a lot of, like, news links that go to, like, WallStreetJournal.com. And it's like, right. boop, you scroll through a paragraph and then it pops up and it's like, hey, subscribe for whatever. But there's, like, another website that you can paste the link into and it gives you the page without the paywall. Okay. I like that. That's but, really good. Yeah. Um, I got like washing your garments so you don't lose socks again, like in one of those mesh bags, like your underwear yeah. and your socks. So put them in there. You never lose them. When you paint a room and remove the light switch plate, this is for you, David. On the inside of the plate, write down the color of the paint you used and the brand. Great for when you need to repaint a spot a couple of years later. I just keep the can in the garage because mm. what are the odds you're using exactly a gallon of paint? Oh, here's a good one. When walking head on towards somebody to avoid that, are we going to crash into each other dance ensemble thing you do? Don't look at them to see what they're going to do. Fix your eyes over one of their shoulders and don't waver. They will then move in the other direction. Yeah, that or you can you can look at your phone. You can look at just if you lock eyes. It's basically hold your ground, weird. basically. Yeah. yeah. Or just play dumb, act like you're not paying attention. And God, I yeah. I probably do that like six times a day at work. I think I did it today at work it's, in the hallway. Oh. <laughs> like, dude, I I ain't veering off my course. If um, if only if only walking was like driving, like I'll stay on the right, you stay on the left. Well, I think typically it is, but you have there's like 
more awkward situations. Oh, there is, especially when like it's not that like oh oh, and then you go. It's like that. Oh, 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 and you guys oh, dance oh, back oh, and forth, and it's like you're you're playing one on one. And then it's like both people go, oh, I'm sorry, and it's like, oh, uh, uh, uh. yeah. Um, it, feels, it feels like a Canadian fight. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you go. No, 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 no. You go. This is a pretty good one. This might be the best one. Um, there's a YouTube video showing you how to do the thing you don't know how to do. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yep. A thousand percent. A thousand oh, percent. Or a thousand. Yeah. Cool. I like I it. That's I, good. I think, I think that's all I got.